hundred percent power would predict the two to two wear that we exhibited in, in unit three, correct? That's correct. Okay. And on page six it says the deterministic analysis indicates that FEI will occur will not occur at seventy percent power. Can you explain exactly what you mean by deterministic analysis? Yes. Uh, um, uh, that analysis uh, was uh, 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 based on uh, the assumption of no effective supports. Uh, so that no fi uh, to, to, to defend uh, to defend a, uh, a premise that they, uh, that supports are are uh, uh, effective in preventing uh, in plane motion that can lead to uh, fluid elastic instability and tube to tube wear. Uh, to defend that, you need a 3D finite element analysis uh, to uh, to uh, predict contact forces and gaps and the like. Uh, so you can assess the condition of the supports and their ability to prevent uh, lateral movement of the uh, of the of the uh, Well, you're assuming uh, uh, the calculation you're referring to assumes no effective support. So one didn't have to do a probabilistic fine uh, element analysis of the, of the, of the bundle uh, to analyze that situation. One just simply uh, solves an equation uh, that uh, uh, predicts. Um, uh, Stability ratio is a function of of, uh, of uh, thermal hydraulic conditions that exist around the tube. Uh, 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 one inputs uh, you know the various parameters that have to be input in the equation, but you're basically solving an equation. Okay. Was well, there any analysis done with the tube supports in place? And the reason I ask that is because the difference between unit two and unit three, I understand, was that the, the supports were in uh, better contact, closer and, and more robust contact with the tubes in unit and unit three, and yet that is the one that exhibited more wear. And so do you think it is possible that having the supports in place would exacerbate the fluid elastic instability? And then if so, then why aren't you making that analysis as well? Yeah, I didn't quite understand the question. Could you, could you maybe repeat it? Okay. The, what you just told me, if I understand it correctly, is that you performed a, a simple uh, a solution to an equation that models the entire thing in one simple little equation that says that the no fluid elastic instability will occur given that there's no supports, and you're doing that because it's a lot easier to model that way. But have you actually looked into the fact that fluid elastic instability may occur more when the supports are in place? And the reason I say that is this. In unit three, according to the manufacturing changes that they made over at MHI, they were able to improve the quality assurance levels in order to get the, um, the contact forces and so forth to be better and, uh, and more uh, uniform over the whole steam generator than they did in unit two. And, and for some reason, that actually exacerbated the tube to tube wear. And so that indicates to me that possibly the fluid elastic instability may be exacerbated and, uh, you know, increased with more structural support of the tubes. In other words, keeping the tubes in place so that they can't wiggle, therefore making the, the steam bubbles um, grow in tighter areas that can't 